than giving dogs chocolate a perfectly normal, reasonable thing to do. I remember watching one of those, like... I don't want to say dog training shows because it was more on training the people how to care for dogs. But I was watching one of the people training shows and there was a lady that would give her dog hot chocolate every night. Like, humans are weird. We're so weird. She's like, oh, he loves his hot chocolate before bed. He's gotta get his hot chocolate before bed. He can't sleep without his hot chocolate before bed. It was just, it was really surreal. It's like, you know that can kill your dog, right? She's like, oh, it's very watered down. He just likes the taste. It's like, can a dog even taste that? Like, I know for certain cats can't taste sugar. So like dogs probably have some weird palate that humans don't like understand. Honestly, if, freak, if Game Freak made an auto battler, they'd find a way to mess it up. That's true, they would. They would. They really would. But yeah, that dog chocolate, hot chocolate thing is really messed up. I think the only problem with auto battle mod would be the Pokemon types. It would either be irrelevant or something that decides the match. It should be just made irre irrelevant. Like, I can't see a way of that working. You know how in the Pokemon TCG, there isn't, like, double typing anymore? There's just single typing? Like, they gotta do something. They gotta dumb it down. Welcome back, Alter. Have you played Super Auto Battle Mon? That do that's not real. Oh my god, the police are after me. Considering taste and smell are super correlated and dogs have amazing sense of smell. You're probably onto something. It's... Their palate is definitely gonna be a lot different than ours. Like, I never understood why people go like, Oh, my dog really likes the taste. It's like, do you know? I've seen dogs eat the weirdest things. Like, are you sure? You're going by human logic there. Like, they're going by dog logic. It is a game. Oh, okay. I haven't played it. I haven't even heard of it. Yeah, Chia only wins. Are you guys ready to start? I'm ready to start. Yeah, people giving their pets an anthropo Anthropomorphized traits is pretty unfortunate. Yes, yes. It is. I see... I see one of my parents do it. To, like, the cats and also dogs that she's had. It's like, they're not- they're not children. They're not little babies. Like, they can fend for themselves. To be fair, we can absolutely understand dog logic. How many times? Chat went full awooga, yeah. Arf, 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 arf. But when it comes to a dog's palate, how do we know? We don't. Okay, let's start the game. Everyone had a good chance to get in if they wanted to. If they desired to do so. Look at all these bluebirds. Underwater tentacles is good. I want to be the lord of the tentacles. That sounds powerful. I'll give my entire estate to my cat. To be fair, that's something I would do. Her lawyer writes down clinically insane. Wasn't that the whole plat- plot? Plat? Wasn't that the whole plot of the Aristocats? Fun fact, feeding your hamster nothing but sunflower seeds would be like giving your children nothing but chocolate chips. So Hamtaro lied to us, and now you know. You know I got like a sugar tooth. Government mandated win. Oops. I did not mean to buy the chinchilla. Well, he's here now. Just bluebirds, don't bother him. Alright, I moved him to the back. 
I was an accidental buy, but he's here. Yeah, dogs go crazy for dry dog food. Even though it's just, it's like cardboard. Not that I've ever eaten a dog treat before. <laughs> yeah, that's... We're gonna bring back the Nuzlocke eventually. It just got to a very grindy point. And it kind of fell off with the holidays. Don't hamsters also eat their own poop sometimes? Um, actually, a lot of... A lot of herbivore animals eat their own poop. Hamsters aren't herbivores, but like a lot of rodents and herbivores eat their own poop because then they can get a chance to digest it and obtain all those essential nutrients that didn't get absorbed by the first pass. I'm actually... Oh, here I go, taking the pant again. Maybe I should just summon team. Maybe if I get a turkey, I should just summon team. As crazy as that would be. Ooh, I kind of want two swans. I think having some gold early would be really good for me. I love that for me. I love that for me. Yeah, my dogs would sometimes eat other dog poop. Yeah, I was playing that chocolate, hot chocolate dog lady. Don't hamsters eat their babies too? That's a myth. It's only when they're super stressed out. What the hell? It didn't even, it, we got an AFK, I'm sorry. Said Panda. Yeah, two swans. I love this for me. <laughs> Koala poop eating lore is wild. Nature's so wild. The allegations against me are false and made by those who would attempt to discredit me. I've never eaten a baby, let alone my own babies. Yeah, since you're a hamster, what's your proverbial silver thread to your weird hamster fate? Can you put that in layman's terms? Like, what do you mean? I'm afraid I am too stupid for that question. A lot of animals do a lot of things in rare circumstances. Yeah, I've never eaten a baby before. Toddler, on the other hand, I've never eaten a toddler. The allegations are false. But yeah, when, when humans put, like, human traits on animals to the extreme, to the point where they're like, no, I know this is what my dog likes. Like, do you? Do you? Dogs are like happy eating a lot of different foods, especially ones that will kill them. We got beat, how could you? I saw a bird stand on another bird. That's that's really fricked up. I'm sorry you had to see that. That's so messed up. I 
I think the door head ants Noia's is like a door hinge. Which is pretty cool. It's real I want another swan. If you would be so kind. Video game? Can I please have another swan? That bird got bird head. What does that even mean, chat? A bird got bird headed. It had a bird standing on its head. I don't think I've ever seen a bird standing on another bird, though. That's wild. That's so crazy. Video gain, please. I once had a seagull, like... I once had a seagull... Do the smartest thing I've ever seen a bird do. It was amazing. I was walking through a park... And it, there was a seagull sitting on a park bench... Squawking at me. I was like, what the hell? What do you want? As I was walking by, it just kept squawking and like, waving its wings around. I was like, is it injured? And then I noticed there was a perfectly wrapped piece of coffee cake. Like, store-bought coffee cake in the wrapping that it could not get out of the wrapping. And so I opened it and put it back on the bench and the seagull just ate it whole, just like that. I saw it go down its throat. It ate it whole and then it flew away. And it was, it was so inundated with coffee cake, it almost, it was like scraping the ground as it was flying away. I was like, oh my god, I just got outwitted by a seagull. Now that seagull is very fat. Giraffe. Giraffe. Mm. Let's, uh, roll. I don't love this for me. But I put an egg on my door. Stop it. Sorry, he door head ant. I can't stop calling it a door stop ant. But, in reality, doesn't a door stop do what a door ant do? Like, it, it stops, it stops it. I was at a hotel pool and two seagulls were getting busy with each other in the middle island of the pool. That's rad. That's sick. Thank you for sharing. The seagull will remember this. Yeah, I hope the seagull comes back one day when I'm like really old and grants me a wish. Rats with wings? That's not- that's not nice. You could say that about any bird. Also, rats are smart. and cuddly creatures. Yeah, I, I don't feed seagulls except for like, it, that was a, that was a rare scenario. I was like manipulated by the seagull there. Like it, it, it needed me to do its bidding and I obeyed completely. Okay, well, we do have the hippo. We do have the hippo. Maybe we don't need this anymore. Do I take a vulture or a hippo? We're... We're on a... Well, if I, if I went down the summoning route, a vulture would be nice. But for now, I should probably just play it safe and go with hippo. As much as this displeases me. You will obey your seagull overlords. The gull did just girl bust me into doing its bidding. I was girl bust. I was out girl bust.
Okay, putting a garlic on it would be nice. I get the picture. I'm schmoovin', I'm schmoovin'. I guess we're keeping the giraffe. Maybe we can outstat our opponents. Yeah, your team too? First time? Seagull's liver in 20 years, according to Google? Oh my god! When did that happen? I was blessed to fight the AFK. I'm, I'm so hashtag blessed. So the seagull's gonna come back soon and grant me a wish? Because I was really young when that happened. In like the next 10 years. I want to keep the orangutan, but also we have the giraffe. Doing what the orangutan is kind of doing, but the, I, I like HP and he's going to buff up my hippo. Maybe I just take the croc instead of the door head. Croc agrees. He goes, huh. He grunts in agreement. Never mind, he buffed up the crocodile. <laughs> but crocodile is really good in this pack, if anyone here builds a summon team. I don't think anyone here has built a summon team yet. About seagulling the coffee cake. It was, you don't understand, it was a, like, freshly bought coffee cake. I don't know who left it there. Maybe someone left it there and they were coming back for it and I just fed it to a seagull. And maybe they came back they're like, where's my coffee cake? But also, why are you leaving a coffee cake unattended in a public setting, bozo? With seagulls around, no less. Finders, keepers. Not the asshole, they left it there. My park, my rules. The Lord of the Tentacles versus. It's Churl. Come on, Hippo, just live. No, you didn't live. No! These roosters, man, these roosters. Who the frick leaves a cake? I don't know. I have to be careful if I take this moose. I have to be really careful. I have to be so careful. Let's take one croc. Let's take Oh, frick. Yeah, we don't want anything here. I'm gonna avocado. Save it for next turn. Plus three, plus three on our hippo. That's gonna help us. Yeah, maybe the seagull did steal it. And managed to carry it to the park bench until it found a willing human to unwrap it for it. The ultimate prank. Yep, they lost their chance. They left it. Or maybe the seagulls stole it. Either way. It belongs to the shithawk. That's right. That's right, Randy. I'm gonna forget about the moose's ability. I'm totally gonna forget. The Lord of the Tentacles versus... The fishy citizens. Go, my hippo. Wreak havoc and destroy. Just kidding, you're about to fight a boar. Go, my crocodile. I'll take a tie. That was a tough squad, so I will take a tie. 
Holy Bengal. Holy Bengal. Maybe I should get rid of the giraffe and start just buffing up my moose. Okay, I'm freezing the snake as well. I might take him instead of the giraffe. That uh, remains to be seen. Come on. Come on! Don't, don't do me like this. Don't give me a plus two, plus two. Frick! And I'm gonna lose a chocolate! Come on. One, one more. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's good. That's fine. I can live with this. Hello, Shine. Why are you saying Chia? Honestly, the big brain move would have been eating the coffee cake yourself. The seagull was, like, aggressive. I feel like if I did that and took the coffee cake, it would have followed me. I would have followed me home. I would have gotten my address and, like, started leaving, I don't know, like, opened coffee cake packages on my door. Step. What do you mean, am I nerfing myself again because sap is too easy? What do you mean by that? Yeah, I wasn't up for fighting a seagull. <gasps> a boar! Uh, it's it's tough. I I kind of want the boar, but our hippo has a bit more stats right now. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let's start freezing. I'm gonna sell this giraffe. I'm gonna sell the giraffe. Seagull would shit on your window every single morning. I know. If I, I had that feeling. I sensed it. Oh. Okay. Let's sell the giraffe. I'm gonna take a leopard. Uh, I'm going to uh use a gherkin on the on the on the on the, uh, on the leopard. <laughs> I don't know. We just had to use the gold. Oh, you eat the cake and the seagull doxes you and spells out your fate. Exactly. I wasn't about to mess with that. Malone? Thankfully our hippo is a champion. Hello Sailor Venusaur. Great streaming streamer. Good chatting chatter. Glad to have chatted with you. Chat's off to you. Good day... Sir? My good sir? Okay, like, look, look at this. We could get a plus four, plus four, or we could keep rolling. It's tough. I could just try to roll chocolate. Why are you dissecting what I'm doing? You're not the one playing. It's for the freaking moose, you bozo. I might just do a roll for food and see if we can get some chocolate. Or we could get a higher tier pet for these, or we could end up by getting lower tier pets. 
Let's just roll. Chocolate. Canned food. A piece of garlic. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Anyways, the moose is gonna unfreeze him. Yeah, we did have a lot of rolls to find out, but m with my luck, it would not have worked out. What is your favorite K-drama on Netflix? Oh, frick. It's been a while. I watched one that I, I enjoyed. It was kind of a zombie monster one. I don't remember the name. I once saw a squirrel up a, a tree that had stolen a whole slice of pizza. Oh I my god. Chia. Happy Jalapeno, welcome back to the cage. You're back. I'm back for more. <gasps> Another crocodile. Chocolate. Yeah! I don't know what I'm gonna do with the tiger! Kingdom? I don't think... I don't think it was... Kingdom. Was it Alice in Borderland? Was that... Or, or maybe I've just seen that one pop up on Netflix so much that I think it's that one. It was like three years ago. It was good though. Oh, frick. Okay, I'm going to just freeze. Roll. Either way, the tiger is getting lost because we can't take him with us. And we're going to lose a gold. But look at this. That's nice. Yeah, that's fine. I can live with this. Yeah! You go, Moose. You're going to stat them all up. Uh, never mind. That that boar is gonna be a little bit pesky. We do have the hippo, but the boar has melon. Oh! I don't know how we pulled that off. Okay, let's take another leopard. I'm going to freeze this. We're going to roll. I'm gonna freeze... Uh, no, I won't freeze the avocado just yet. Maybe I freeze the worm. Maybe, do I risk it? I'm freezing the worm. I'm not risking it. Okay, this is fine. Oh, dang, never mind. Those, uh... Those food items are kind of bad. Frick. Put it on that guy. Yeah, Kingdom is weird but nice. I'll, I'm gonna check it out. Alice in Borderlands is great. That might be the one I'm thinking of then. It's kind of... It was kind of a zombie one. Kind of a monster one. Kind of a combination. I don't know how to describe it. It was weird. Oh, look at the squirrel eating the pizza. That sounds rad. Oh, pizza. Sometimes you just see, like, crows carrying stuff. You're like, what do you have there? And they have, like, a rubber band, and you're like, huh? What are you doing with that? Kingdom is a historic zombie. Okay, I never saw a, a historic zombie one. Alice in Borderlands has no zombies or monsters? Okay, then it must have been a different one I watched. Oh, frick. Frick this boar. But yes, you got the fly! You're keeping my hippo alive! Never mind. Oh, close. Close. We might get top three. Maybe. 
Okay, let's freeze this guy. I'm even gonna freeze the deer. Watch this, watch this. Boop. We're open to win on pure stats, baby. That's how this is going. The power of a moose. The power of a moose. This talk somehow reminded me of Gyo. Junji Ito is such a weird creator. Yeah, Gyo, which I was told was supposed to be a comedy, but I, when I read it, it freaked me out. I didn't like it. It was... It was good, but it was scary. It's his art style, definitely. It, it unnerved me to heck. And just how everyone in a Junji Ito comic is, like, so blasé about what's happening. They're like, oh yeah, you know, just, just you know, regular sort of day turning into a spiral slug, you know? Kind of weird, isn't it? It's like they don't even care. Which adds to it. Hippo already 50 feet with the level 2 panda. I know, but like... Okay, hear me out. What if we sold... Our leopard... Brought in a boar, made the panda go in the boar? Because I think our hippo can even survive a hit. Or... We do this. I'm listening, says Chad. I'm listening. I'm intrigued. We need to get a level 2 leopard. If you'd be so kind, video game. Or we could put a snake instead of the leopard behind the uh, hippo. Because the hippo is so powerful. I'm thinking we go with snake. I think we go with snake. I might regret this. What would you do, Chad? Would you go with Snake? What would you do in this situation? I'm doing it. <laughs> I would not. Well, it's, it's too bad. Oh, dang. Okay. No! Yes, 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 yes. Tia gonna pivot when everyone is up for HP or less. Let's go. That kind of day. Yeah, I think also a boar would have popped off, but I hesitated on that. Hmm. A snake is really good for popping these melons, though, and giving our hippo. Well, I guess they could just keep summoning. Melons, which defeats the snake's purpose. Ooh, that's a believer payout, though. Uh, is it too late for a chicken? <laughs> that was a joke before anyone answers that. Oni, hello, how are you? What if I go back to my leopard? What if I go back to my dastardly ways? What if- what if I take another hippo? Make you fight two hippos? All right, I'm, I'm just getting desperate, okay? Yeah, take that hippo right now. Right now. Yeah. Do it for the vine. Frick yeah. I wish he had garlic. You think one hippo's so hot? Why don't you try two? Buddy? Bozo? Yeah! Double- Double hippo strat! And we finished off the crocodile, that's great! That's really- that's nice for us, I like that. 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. We have garlic. We have garlic here. And I don't want to roll anymore because this is already really nice. We don't need him to have a cucumber. We can just waste all our gold. Yeah. Double garlic, double hippo. Level 3 crocodile. Not bad. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All these melons are very scary though. Oh my gosh! <gasps> the popcorn won it for us! Let's go. That's pretty pog crazy if you ask me. The popcorn! I don't know. I don't know. I, I we could try to pray. We could just hope for more chocolate. That's what I'm thinking we do. We didn't get it. There, that was for fun. That one was just for fun. Yeah, these hippos have been level one this whole time. That is true. Okay. Is this gonna be a replay? If I can take down the boar? <gasps> Let's go! GG! Thank you for the good game, Bing Bong! Finally. Finally! The cracked game. It happened. It took a moose. I called moose weird and then it carried me. Sometimes that'd be how it be. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna underestimate this animal and then it's gonna win my whole game for me. Lord of the Tentacles. Bow down to your lord. Kneel before my slimy presence. Kiss my tentacles. All of them. All eight of them. I'm kneeling. Good. <laughs> yeah, the devil hippo was a really... That, that was a good choice. That was a good choice. Okay, let's update the leaderboard here. <laughs> 